everything right where it needs to be. Okay. Um, as you can see here, that didn't quite position um, the head. So what happened exactly? Well, what happened here is that um, everything, okay, not everything has the same pivot point. And so whenever we uh, scaled that up, it went ahead and it scaled it from the center of the entire selection. So the problem that we have here is let's go ahead and go back before everything was scaled. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are um, scaling by the pivot. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll scale that now. So watch this. If we go ahead and change that to a thousand, now it should match up perfectly. Okay. Now we will be reducing that back down um, to get it to the proper size that we need um, after we've modeled everything and, of course, baked everything out. Uh, the final step would be to um, get it down to its proper size. Uh, to go into a game engine, uh, but we're not quite ready for that yet. So here we have these eyes, and these are pretty high poly. We want to get rid of those, but I want to use them to help me um, position the eyes. And so I'm going to select just a single eye here. I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to, actually, let's do detach over here. We'll detach that, and I'll turn that off. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete the other eye. I only need one for right now. Um, let's go ahead and affect the pivot only and align that uh, to the center of the object. And then I'm going to come into my front view. And in my front view, I'm going to come in, I'm going to create a box primitive. And I'm going to use the cube creation method. So that way all I have to do is just left click and drag it in. So I'll do that here. And I'm going to hit F3 so I can kind of see that outline there and then we have a cube inside of the eye. Now you might be asking me, why are we using a box instead of a sphere? Well, I find that spheres can be very difficult to UV um, because they have these triangles along the top. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a box uh, with some subdivisions in it, and then I'm going to use sphere eyes, or spherify modifier to um, make that round. So while we're here, let's go ahead and add some segments on this, and I'm going to add four for each one. And so once we have that, let's go ahead and go to the modifier list, and we're going to say Spherify. There we go. So we're set it at 100%, and there we've got an eye that has been rounded out. Great. Now at this point, you could go ahead and take a look at it if you reduce the subdivision levels there, but we really need four on all of those. Okay, so it looks good. Now with this eye um, set, let's go ahead and align it to the high poly eye. So to do this, let's go ahead and make sure that we center the pivot on the box. So center that to the object. And then we're going to go ahead and say align, and we're going to pick the high poly eye. We're going to use the uh, pivot point, pivot point. Seeing how that's been centered on the object, it should be fine. So there we go. Now if you take a look at this, you'll see that the box isn't quite large enough for this. And so what I can do is I can actually take the length, width, and height of this, and I could take that up, or I could just go ahead and convert it to edible poly, and then just scale it. Now we could scale it, but that's going to change the scale down here. We would have to reset that transform. So normally whenever I'm scaling an object, if you scale it by the element, Okay, all the polygons, it'll go ahead and scale that up, but it won't change the transform information about this. So notice that this is at 100%. Everything else, so if we take a look at our eye, you can see that that's at 1,000. We need that to be at 100% whenever we're ready to export that out. And so it's not that big of a deal. We can always get that back down to 100%, even if we did scale it, but I'm just kind of showing you a way that I like to work um, to keep from uh, transforming those parts, especially on parts like the eye, which sometimes we can look over. I'm going to pull that eye out just a little bit, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mirror that. I'm going to make sure that that is set to instance in case I make any changes to the other, and then I'm going to hit OK on that. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to put in a negative in front of the x direction, so that way it mirrors it 